Hey guys, Carl here from Retro32. Just another very brief instructional video, this time on how to install the Amiga Pi Storm adapter into your Amiga 500 or 500 Plus. Uh, as you can see here, we have our very own branded Retro32 Pi Storm balls that are available from our website, retro32.com. Um, here it is together with the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus, um, which you will also need. Um, here we're going to install it in my own. Amiga 500. As you can see, we've already got a GoTech and we do have a RGB to HD adapter in there as well. Um, so first thing we need to do is to pop out the CPU. Um, again, we can take our trusty old school flatbed screwdriver, um, get the end of it in between the CPU and the socket, and you want to slowly, slowly twist it, um, and this will lift the CPU out of the socket. Um, I can't stress how careful you do need to be with this. Um, what I tend to do is just work side to side, top to bottom, um, just try to lift that CPU out as level as possible. Um, once it's loose enough, you can simply just um, grab the CPU and very carefully remove it from the socket. Um, once that's out, you want to take your Pi Storm adapter and make sure that it's the right way around. Um, it should be installed just like so. Um, again, please be careful. Um, if you do install this the wrong way around, um, it is liable to damage your Pi Storm or your Amiga. Um, so again, make sure that the pins are lined up um, and then you want to firmly push down on the adapter, just like so. Once you've got that in, you can go and grab your Raspberry Pi 3A Plus, um, ensuring that the USB port is facing down. Um, and then again, line up your pins um, and then just firmly push the Pi into place, just like so. And there we have it. You can pop in your SD card and you are away. Um, just take note that the keyboard um, and the Pi, obviously both being metal, um, they, they do actually touch um, if you aren't using a CPU relocator board, which will be available from website. Um, hopefully very soon um, so we just popped some electrical tape on the bottom of the keyboard just to make sure that there's no metal on metal contact causing any shorts or anything um, once you've done that obviously you're pretty much away um, now we do have these available from our website retro32.com together with loads of other amiga goodies like rgb2 hdmi adapters and loads of other stuff um, so yeah feel free to check it out um, but yeah, once you're done there, you can pretty much um, just go ahead and start enjoying all the benefits of using your Pi Storm. Um, we do have an image um, that we supply that boots essentially straight into Workbench, and it's actually Zeb's uh, WHD load um, image. Um, essentially, it boots straight into Workbench, and you are pretty much um, away. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any got any questions then please let us know in the comments or you can reach out to us on our website um, as well um, yeah other than that take it easy cheers and goodbye